Hi guys! So you may have already guessed the subject of today's video. It's all about soft start. Powerful universal motors like this can have a very aggressive start up. So uh, that's why I added a um, soft start circuit here at the back. And not only to this trap saw, I also added this circuit to my table saw, which has also a universal motor, 1200 watts, and also my big panel saw has a circuit here at the top in this box. Uh, the motor here has um, 1400 watts. All right, some morning coffee. And here is the diagram of my soft start circuit, which is a very, very simple circuit. Actually, the simplest I have ever seen. Uh, let me quickly go over. So here is your 230 volt incoming supply from the power switch of your machine. Uh, it goes via a 1M fuse and a 330 nanofarad capacitive dropper here through a bridge rectifier. In this case it's a um, discrete bridge rectifier here the four diodes charges up a electrolytic capacitor the voltage gets kept by a 24 volt Sina diode I have also added a uh, control LED which is not necessary and the 24 volt feeds the uh, relay coil of this relay it's a 24 volt relay and the charge up uh, of this electrolytic capacitor uh, takes some time in this case about one second till the um, threshold uh, of this relay coil is reached and it closes the relay con here I also added a 220 ohms inrush current limiting resistor which is this one here and of course the capacitive dropper has uh, bleeding resistors discharge resistors here two of them to dissipate the load okay what happened when you turn the machine on uh, first current can flow only via the diode to your load or via a resistor in this case I want to uh, power a universal motor so to use a diode is uh, just fine for the purpose and what happened is uh, by putting one diode in series you're simply cutting off uh, one half wave of the mains voltage sine wave so the load can start up with uh, reduced amperage and after about one second the uh, relay clicks in and uh, shorts out the uh, diode and your load gets driven by the full sine wave uh, just in case if you have uh, another load like for instance a uh, transformer or something you can use a big resistor instead of the diode so it depends on what kind of load you want to soft start with this circuit the diode which I'm using is a P600K uh, which can handle up to 800 volts and 6 amp which is uh, way overkill for this purpose but that's what I had on hand okay here's the circuit board as you see I removed all the unnecessary copper at the back for better electrical separation so I have at least four millimeters gap everywhere Ooh. 
Okay, now it's time to test it, I would say. Cat food for the hedgehog. So here is my setup. I have hooked up a incandescent light bulb uh, to the output of my circuit. And here I have my input mains voltage with my power strip here. And now let's check out what happens when I turn the power strip on. Again. You may notice the flicker uh, because uh, the light bulb gets driven by only half the sine wave for one second. But that's no big deal for a universal motor uh, because of the inertia of the motor itself. Here I hooked up my uh, 720 watt um, angle grinder to my circuit here and I turned it on permanently and watch what happened here. So you hopefully can clearly hear that the machine starts up uh, with half the power and uh, after one second it's uh, turning on fully and that's what the circuit should do. So yeah, I hope this video was somewhat interesting or educational for you. Uh, if you want to copy circuit here it is um, one word of precaution uh, it's possible that you have <coughs> tinker a bit with the value of the capacitive dropper and the uh, electrolytic capacitor to get the timing right it depends a bit on what kind of relay you use but if you are familiar with electronics at least uh, to some degree this is not a big deal for you I would say yes if you like the video uh, give me a thumbs up or uh, share the video and I would say thanks for watching and uh, see you next time